Hey YouTube, so before I start the video, I just wanted to film this quick rundown of what my first video that I really actually am putting effort into is going to be about. So, um, it's, it's just going to be about, it's going to be about pretty much restoring one of my older bikes. It's, um, you know, it's not the most expensive bike in the world, but, and I get, well, I guess in that matter, it's not an expensive bike at all, but I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. guys I'm all woken up and I'm coming outside here it's a beautiful day lots of clouds all the plants are green and flourishing and I'm just gonna do a quick workout here so I'll put you back into time-lapse here we go Now that that is done, I am going to go into the shop and give you a quick rundown on maybe the next video will possibly, what the next video will possibly be and a quick look at the bike. So as you can see right here, this is one of my skateboards and you know, creature board. It's got some independent trucks on there and it's pretty cool design on the bottom too. But, unfortunately, while I was riding, the truck broke, not really broke, it just loosened and came completely off. And I really, really need to fix that. But, that will, yeah, so like I said, that will, it might be the next video, I'm still not completely sure. But here is the bike. So, as you can see, I already put the back tire on, and that is because I just wanted to give you a view of, you know, what the tire looks like when it's on. Not that interesting, but why not? So, basically what we're going to do is we're going to be taking the tire and inner tube off of this old wheel and throwing them away, and then... And to do that, we're going to use these plastic tools to pry up the tire. And then we're going to replace the, that tire and the inner tube with these two. This is just, these are just, this is just a standard BMX tire and then a basic tube. And so yeah, we're going to be replacing the front wheel here. And then also after that, after we get all that done, we're going to clean it up because it's very dirty. And... I'll probably get some stuff to clean it from this giant cabinet that says danger on it. But anyway, for now, let's get straight back into the time lapse. So we're Alrighty, that actually worked out very well. Um, something that I had trouble with was, so you can see right here how the, the tire doesn't go on the outside of the rim, but it goes inside of it. And that's the problem that I had with the bike. Um, I had trouble with the, the, these tools specifically, um, getting the tire on the inside because when it came, the tire was very like fa fanned out so that was some trouble but I managed to get it in fine and it you know putting a new tire on a bike is <laughs> very simple actually you don't really need much explanation but just a little bit of detail um, 
So to I use the, I use this wrench right here to tighten up the bolts as you probably saw in the time lapse. Um, it you know it's a pretty long one, so it's pretty nice, gives you a lot of leverage. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is let's see, I put the cap on. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm probably just going to put these pegs back on the front tire. And then I am also going to get some um, cleaning materials and then I'll clean it off and I'll be right back. Alright, so the restoration process is almost done. And what I've done off camera is I've taken the bike and I sprayed it off with water and just cleaned it off completely. And then what I did was I got some, I grabbed some, uh, I also, yeah, I got some of this lubricant for the chain that is going to, that is going to happen in a little bit. But I also used some Goo Gone, which completely cleaned off all the dirt and stuff. And it worked really well. Um, I can show you it right now. You can see it's very shiny and clean. Just has some water droplets off of it. And I'm on it and I'm waiting for the wind to kind of, you know, blow those off and dry them off a little bit. So I will be right back once that happens. All right guys, new progress update. Um, the bike has finished drying off and I'm taking this lubricant that I got and I'm gonna be oiling off this chain because I have I cleaned it with the water and the goo gone just to get everything kind of like fresh and new and so I'll be doing that real quick let's undo this and get this going let's drop by drop All right, I'm coming back around to the spot of the created already. Now let's go ahead and just really get this. All right, that looks great. Slow that down. And what I think I'm gonna do back here, there's bearing and stuff, and I'm. Probably just gonna lubricate that too, cause there we go. All right, that is going nice. Alright, that's it for lubricating. What I think I'm going to do now is go out and take the bike for a spin. Alright, so now I have a jump right here that I'm going to take it off and just kind of see how it handles and holds up. So, that jump uh, really didn't work as a jump. I mean, it was probably the dinkiest thing you can get from a jump, but uh, it worked for me. So. You know, I'm satisfied with the work I did on the bike. It's a good riding bike again. Um, you know, it's pretty easy to repair a bike like that, really, because it's not super complicated. It doesn't have gears and, you know, 
just it was it was a pretty fun thing to do and record um i thank you all for watching if you do watch i'm probably going to be ending the video right here and yeah if you do watch just like the video subscribe to my channel it's a lucid mind i'm out